Welcome to the audio workshop. Today we're going to look at Behringer's and Midas's new firmware 4.0 for the X32 and M32. The big addition is in the routing. We have user ins and user outs. Here is user in. Look at these little dots. You can do everything discontinuous. This is only for input block 1 through 8. But I can choose them in order like we normally have them. Or I can go discontinuously after I turn all these off, which you don't have to turn off. Now I'm going to pick AES 1 through 8, pull something off the stage bus. Now I want to select something from the card on the next three channels. So we'll add the card. Now notice under input patch, the signal column tells you where the signal comes from. So much easier to figure out where you're at. Here we, I've chosen to use TalkBack. But we all have TalkBack external. And we also have TalkBack internal. And I'm going to select that in just one second. There's internal, there's external. We can put them wherever we want. Now to the user out. We have six banks that we get to route, all 48 channels. Well, there's more than 48 on the X32, of course. It's going to be great for setting up the P48 system, because then we can have 48 channels that we can listen to. And similar to the inputs, we can select them discontiguously. And the signal tells you where the signal is sourced from. Now on the output, we have taps, a tap point. That's only going to work when we have something that's tappable. A direct input is not going to have a post and pre-fader tap. Now I'm adding, I'm picking card 1 through 4 as the inputs to the user out. This is how we get our mix buses. Notice that the mix buses get populated this way, but they have to be pre-selected in the out. You can't add them directly. We have to assign them either through output 1 through 16, auxiliary out, or ultranet. My ultranet routing, which I'm picking right now, is stock default, so they're the direct channel outs. Of course, we can change that if we go to the ultranet tab. Now I'm going to pick uh, the last block. And because of the mix bus down there, you can see that it's being sourced post fader. And you can't select it here. You would go ahead and change that. In this case, it would be out 1 through 16. With that P48 system, we can monitor 48 different channels. That's more than we can do from our consoles. And of course, we can do it any way we want to. I'm going to have a further explanation on routing in general for this system, specifically out 1 through 16. That's the most confusing it seems like. If you like what you've seen, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, put it in the comments.